Hi everyone. I was kind of thinking how do we get people to be more engaged in how their society is run. And I think that one possible solution might be having a system where all candidates in parliament ran on an independent ticket. Now, before you condemn me about this, let me just explain myself as to why I think that might be a good idea at least in some cases. Firstly, I believe it is more local and it better represents each constituent of that state or of that country. And also because I think that the caliber of a candidate will then not be dragged down by party branding. So for example, if you had a particular individual who is well known in a community, maybe volunteers, does a lot of uh, grassroots based uh, activities in that particular community and has won the trust of people, if he or she ran under a ticket which does not bode well with the local electorate, then they might actually think twice um, as they go to the polls because they would really, they have this trust for this individual and want that person to represent them at a higher level in parliament. However, if this person is going to be associated with a particular party, then they might start to question it. And also, uh, that leads me to my next point, that in parliament itself, every vote pretty much would be a conscience vote. Because what happens is, if a candidate is part of a political party, there's something called a party whip or a party line, which means that if the central executive committee of that party decides which way candidates of that party will vote, then when it comes to voting for certain bills, each um, member of that party who is a parliamentarian will have to vote that way, right? Whereas a conscience vote is when each person, each parliamentarian can actually vote on that bill based on his or her conscience. So I think that's a good thing. And that also goes back to my previous point that you actually want a person representing you and your cons constituency to be local. Yeah. And also the next thing I'd like to say is that it's less likely to have um, corporate interest if each member of parliament is independent. So for example, let's say you have some huge corporation and this corporation then gives political donations to some big, uh, sort of like larger, more major political parties. Therefore, the, the, the mindset of those parties will have to be slightly tweaked in order to benefit the corporation uh, which has given huge donations to them. Because obviously, when it comes to policy and decision making, they kind of have to consider yeah, their, their sources of um, donations because then at the end of the day, when it comes close to the next election day, they will then have the resources to market their party and, and to go out and campaign. And so that's why if you have each, um, if you have each parliamentarian as an independent, then that probably will not be an issue. All right? And however, if we do have this, it has to come with more frequent elections because that is the, that's the whole point of it. That if you want a person representing a particular town in parliament, then there has to be constant accountability. However, such a system, if it does come into play, it has uh, challenges of its own. Firstly, it's the challenge of resources. Major political parties actually have a pooled set of resources, whereas independents don't. However, if you think about it the other way, that's actually a good thing because then it makes people engage um, with the issues and that each candidate actually has to come up with a set of policies which he or she believes in and be able to market that to the electorate, which is a good thing. It, it kind of forces everyone to be engaged. And also in the modern day, social media is one means 
by which people can get their message across. So this can be taken advantage of. So in essence, I think that um, that's, that's a good way for independent candidates to get their voice out as well. So some people might disagree with it, arguing that having such a system will actually distance people from politics and, and governance. Because then, if you think about it, you think about this model, right? Major political parties will then recruit people based on certain platforms, on certain uh, policies. And because of that, people will then have a sense of loyalty to that party. It's just part of a whole model. So then, when people have a loyalty uh, towards a particular party, they actually learn about other issues, not just the issues which they're directly interested in, but they also learn about other issues. The main disadvantage with that is that people will then, rather than canvassing a wide range of opinions about a particular topic, people then get exposed uh, in a very biased way to one side of, of it, and that is the opinion that that political party takes. So that might actually not be a good thing because then it makes people close-minded and not question and not be be open to uh, discussing th these issues in depth. And also um, another um, challenge that this face is that some people might say that if you have every uh, parliamentarian being an independent, then it could also be divisive. So I'll give you a particular example. Let's say we have one uh, country and there is sort of racial, well, not really racial segregation, but then people of a certain race tend to be in a, uh, tend to be, tend to live in a particular area. So for example, you have one town that has mostly uh, ethnic Italians and another one that's mostly, say, Irish for argument's sake, then they're most likely to vote along uh, racial lines. I mean, I'm not just generalizing, but that, that, that used to be a fact and might or might not be this case now. So in that sense, it, it could kind of be divisive. But then, should such a scenario occur, at least each person, at least each parliamentarian will reflect the sentiment on the ground of their local constituency. And if issues like these start to become a problem, it can then be debated in parliament in a very democratic way itself. So if that's what the people want, if they want to segregate themselves, then that also has to be respected. But as I mentioned, the, the issue cannot be just closed like a, uh, like a closed book. It then has to be further discussed. Yeah, so in conclusion, I urge you to just think of, about it. Can this particular system work? There might be some challenges, but I believe that this system of having every parliamentarian as independent has its advantages as well. Thank you.